Well, I, I have a website called That Is Worldwide. I'm trying to get back into another office out here. So you know, okay. that's why I'm out here like this. But yeah, what I'm doing is another page called a Hall of Fame page where I'm doing, you know, popular people from from back then to now uh -huh. who actually had an impact on people's lives. Okay. So, yeah. So I well, that's, you know, that's funny that you would say that because I wanted to tell you about somebody that ha has had a huge impact on my life. Has anyone ever told you that Jesus was God manifesting the flesh? Yeah, and that's what and, keeps me. Keeps me but listen, though, yeah. and that he came into his own, the Jews, and they rejected him. Yeah. And, and he was crucified, he was buried, three days, three nights, he rose on that third day, God rose him from the dead, and he was seen by many. Mm -hmm. And if you believe that in your heart, then you have eternal salvation. Right. So can I ask, uh, do you believe that with your heart? Yeah. Okay. But remember the parable that Jesus gave. Which one? But, but he was talking about himself, but they didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. Where he said there was a man that arranged a marriage and he invited all his friends. The bridegroom? Yeah. Okay. And they never came. Okay. So when they never came, guess what? He went out in the streets and invited the strangers to come. Okay. Yeah. I you think know? I do remember that one. Yeah. I do remember that one. He invited the strangers to come because, as you say, my own saw me and they don't believe in me. Uh-huh. So that's where we where we are in in the world some of the time you know, yeah some of the time you know you talk about god and everything and they don't see god in you mm -hmm. and it could be your own family it can be your own friends yeah and all of that. absolutely yeah absolutely. and then all of a sudden it's somebody like you that might just pull up beside me and uh -huh. we talk and we reason like this yeah and, yeah. and i don't even know you, you yeah know what I mean? amen you know what well let me ask you this do you believe that um jesus is god the father yeah, he said um, there's there's the Trinity. There's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So okay. It's, it's, it's the full Trinity. And as it is written, mm -hmm. thought it not robbery to, to be, be called e God. To be equal to God. Right. Well, what's your name, if you don't mind me asking? My name is Robert. Robert, I'm Patrick. Pleasure okay. to meet you. Okay. Um, and, and so I don't necessarily believe in the Trinity. I believe that the Word of God says that there's three in heaven that bear record. Right. And those three are one. So God the Father... Uh, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I so, don't so with the that. Trinity, they okay. they try to put they try to make it each person. So, so let me explain what I mean. Okay. So, when you when when you become a believer, mm -hmm. so when I believe on that gospel of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. I became a son of God and I received that. Right. So, I am eternally sealed. So, that means that the Holy Spirit has bear witness with my spirit. That God forbid, whenever it's my day, if Jesus doesn't come back and get me and catch and I am caught up in the clouds, that I'm going to heaven because I'm believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. So I'm a son of God, right? So right. Jesus Christ was the son of God as well, right. but He was born of the Holy Spirit. I was born of the of the earthly uh, earthly Father. Right. So He was the only begotten. Right. So He was in the in the in the heart of the earth. And he was ro he rose on that third day. He was physically dead for three days, three nights. Right. But God rose him. God quickened his spirit and rose him from the dead. Mm -hmm. So, as a son of God, the Father is in us, just like Jesus said, "The Father is in me, and I am in the Father." Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that the that God the Father is the Son of God, and the Son of God is God the Father. No, but the name that they I baptize in that, no, 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 I'm not saying that you're saying it. I just like to correct it. I'm not, I'm, 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 I, I, I don't, I like to just put it out there just so you right. know what I believe. But right. so in Acts, um, they baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes. But what name was, was Peter and John baptizing in? They were baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ. Right. So when because Jesus he said, is, He is the mediator, Jesus Christ is the mediator he was the mediator between men and god absolutely right. so jesus said he came in my father's name right he's i came in my father's name right so he inherited that name in, in hebrews 4 it said that he obtained a, a name greater yeah. than any right. so so the name of god the father is jesus so jesus christ was god manifest in the flesh now christ is just a title right. messiah is just the title 
Jesus is the name that he inherited. So if your name was Robert Jones and you went to Egypt, your name would still be Jones because you inherited it from your father. Right. So, so the mystery of the gospel is that, that it was that God was manifest in the flesh and he did that through his son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So that's the mystery of, of the gospel and God is all powerful. We don't know his wisdom. We don't know his intelligence, we don't, right? We don't. And, and he can do anything. If he wanted to come down in, in the creation that he created to give us a way reconciling us back to him, just like he reconciled Jesus back to himself, right. then, then I'm going gonna, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna to believe in that. So there's nothing that I can do. And my next question would be, do you believe that you have to repent to be saved? I've already done that. You you, know, you've already done it? Okay. If you believe and this thank you not, for being honest too. I appreciate yeah. that. If you believe this or not, I used to have no, I mean, I'll tell you that I had the office down there, but mm -hmm. God has allowed me to see things out here mm -hmm. that I have a better understanding of certain things. Because okay. remember, Jesus walked amongst people that didn't have anything. Yeah. You know, so I'm from Jamaica, so okay. There's awesome. a lot of things that I have gotten in this past year since I lost my office, but I'm about to go back into the office. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, the Popeyes down the street that they're opening up, I'm already hired. Okay, them. awesome. I'm well, I'm gonna have, look, I'm on a diet, but I have to come see you and get some chicken, man. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a crazy thing to see me like this and you know I'm well hey go, you know what you know, it's okay don't don't whatever. even worry about it you know what yeah. i was I've, I've been homeless before i was homeless for a very short period mm -hmm. and it was a very humbling experience um and and it was just one of those things that brought me even closer to god so i have a heart and i've always had a heart for people that um you know this earth is is no one's but god so mm -hmm. You know, people claiming homes and stuff. So that's a whole nother story. But I've, I've been in your situation. It wasn't a, a long, long time. Mm -hmm. It was a couple months. Um, but it was enough for me to appreciate what God had already given me. Right. And so I just want to go back to the repentance thing really quick because, um, you know, as far as repentance, do you believe that eternal salvation is a free gift from God? Yeah, of course it you is. You do? And okay. He has to remind me of that. Sometimes I say, you know what, God, I feel like I'm just somebody that needs to cut and run. And he'll yeah, be like, yeah. no, you're cool. Yeah. I got you. Look what I did over here. Look what I did over mm -hmm. here. Yeah. You're learning Amen. some other things that you need to learn right now. You know, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's just that. You know, it's just about the learning. Mm -hmm. And your learning makes you more of a person that. You're not judgmental mm -hmm. when he puts you in another position. Yeah, you know, yeah, if, if absolutely. You're be in another position, you just, and a lot of people don't see that. You know, they, human they human it. nature it, in our flesh it mm -hmm. tells us a lot of times that we there's something that we need to do right. to get ourselves in heaven. But you know, God is a spirit. We must worship Him in spirit and truth. Right. So Correct. if He's of the spirit. How when we when we become believers when we believe on that gospel mm -hmm. we're baptized with the Holy Spirit, living water Jesus said so we're baptized with that so then we become of the Spirit then we can have faith because you know faith is a gift right. of the Spirit and it's also a work right. not of works lest any man should boast it says because we're saved by grace through faith mm -hmm. so it's God's grace we're saved by the Savior Jesus is our Savior right. God is our Savior as well. And it's Jesus' faith. So it's nothing you and I can do to earn our way into heaven. Exactly. All we do is believe. God, God, he reads our hearts. Yeah, and that's that's the thing that I fight with God over. I mean, because we, we can have those personal fights. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm like, you know, I need to be doing this. I mean, and he will remind me. Yeah. Look, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you already know me. You know what I mean? Well, you know, and you're fighting for it. Mm -hmm. It's not you're backsliding and you're falling. Yeah. That well, way. well, that's the thing. That's the thing. You're, the way you know? you're thinking right now. Yeah. I just want to I just want to I just want to clarify because you're saying backsliding. You're saying um, using those terms. It's not it's not about what you do. Because no, remember, because remember, Paul, he, he led thousands of people to Christ and he still struggled. He didn't struggle. He still yeah. did things right. that were sinful that he didn't want to do. What I mean by backsliding But that's the old is, man. That's the flesh in you. What I mean by backsliding is you find that people 
sometimes will go to a church mm -hmm. because they're they're um they're going through some personal issues mm -hmm. and they go to church for a little while yeah. and God blesses them and they find themselves going back to the same thing mm -hmm. and now they find themselves in trouble. Well, That's the type of backsliding. That I got I'm you. About. I got you. Well, I don't. There's, there's a conscious I'm going through something, but me and God is right here. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, there's yeah. a backslide where you just you turn you turn around and walk away. Yeah, and yeah. You go back to as as it's written. You know, mm -hmm. you know the fool follows his folly like a mm -hmm. a, 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 a dog. A dog it goes just, back to his vomit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know. Well, well, Robert, I, I I always like to encourage people. You know, mm -hmm. I again I, I believe on the faith of the Son of God. I don't. I stopped going to church years ago because that's a man-made building and pastors merchandise you with ties, right. etc. And a lot of those people are are not even really believers because uh, uh, we, God does not dwell in the building. He, he's not in those buildings. Exactly. So he's in his church. Mm -hmm. He's in the body of Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. So so I don't have to go to some some building that a man built and, and put, you know, put, pray, raise my hands and do all that and show but, people that I'm worshiping but what did Paul because that's about? works. What did Paul write? About? Tell me what you're talking about. <laughs> he said that the law is the schoolmaster to bring you into spirituality. Absolutely. 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 You you attend with teachers for a time, but once God takes over and starts to lead you, that's where you really have to pay attention and let him lead you and deal with how he's gonna deal with in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm 100% with you on that. Yeah. And you also said, too, not to cut you off a, yeah. a minute ago, you said that I know God and I know Jesus. Right. Well, you know, a, a lot of people knew Jesus and a lot of people followed Jesus, but they still weren't believers. So it's, it's very important that we believe in our hearts. Judas Iscariot, he followed Jesus. He didn't believe. It's and not a lot of people believe he had the fear. No, yeah, no, I he, he. I think he was more fearful. You don't think he was more fearful? Uh, I don't think he say that. I, I, I definitely says that he, uh, he, he didn't believe, okay. uh, because he, uh, I don't, I don't remember exactly how it is, but um, he's definitely in hell, unfortunately, because he didn't believe, and um, you know he had the power through the name of Jesus, because Jesus has power, so he was able to heal and do miracles and stuff. But he followed Jesus, but he didn't believe. Mm -hmm. He was he was scheming on how to how to arrest Jesus so he could get that thirty shekels of silver. Mm -hmm. So no, he was he wasn't a believer for sure. Uh, he probably feared after he saw that Jesus was condemned, he even repented. It didn't do him any good. He it still yeah, it still he, was, he still hung exactly. himself, and he still unfortunately he he didn't believe. Right. So so I just like to I like to preach that you believe on Jesus. Because that's our ticket into heaven. Because what we're doing is we're resting. Because, you know, Jesus said, come all that are weary to me. My, my yoke is light. My burden is easy. Yes. So when the, the, the Israelites were in the wilderness for 40 years, they were only on a 12-day journey. Mm -hmm. When they got hungry, they wanted to go back to Egypt and get back under bondage. But God was saying, rest. Right. And they couldn't do it. So what I do is I rest on, I rest on the faith of the Son of God. It's his righteousness. I'm righteous through Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. So then I can believe in Jesus. Right. So it's nothing that I can do. It's, I can't boast. Because if it's not grace, if it's my works, then it's not grace. And if it's grace, it's works. And it says, not of works, lest any man should boast. So I boast on Jesus. I don't boast on myself. Even the good works that I'm doing now, it's still about Jesus. Those good works, because faith is dead without works, absolutely. I'm having faith in Jesus by going and preaching and doing these things. I'm earning my crowns in heaven. Because this life, rich or poor, is just a vapor. It literally is a vapor. It is. So when we're in when we're in the New Jerusalem in heaven, we're not even gonna remember any of any of this. Anybody's accomplishments, me having a billion dollars. It's not even going to matter because I'm not even going to remember this. So the thing is, I want to be saved on the day of the Lord, on the day of Christ, the day that God. That. You, you, we want to help the people who don't know and don't 
Well, we should. We should. And you know, when you and become a believer, you gotta, you, you gotta walk in the mud and help people in the mud. You know what I mean? Hey, wherever, 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 wherever duty calls, yeah, wherever it, duty it, calls, right? I'm just trying to get to it so I can. Mm -hmm. I want to sit next to Abraham. I want to sit next to Peter. Yeah. I want to. I want to be because you know there's gonna be a low. We didn't meet by accident. Absolutely, there's you gonna know? be a, a greater and a least in heaven, and I want to be. I want to be in the greater. You know, and I, I, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm perfect, even though Job oh, no. and Noah were perfect. I'm Jesus was, Jesus was perfect, mm -hmm. but he was sinless, you know, and, and there are things that, um, that I, uh, still come across as obstacles, but I'm still growing and I'm learning. Yeah, but I mean, what happened with Job when Job was questioning, he didn't know what the whole situation oh, man. was going on. Can you imagine having the faith? And, and no, but, of but God just had to tell him, he said, where are you when I put the, the stars in the sky? Where were you at? He's like, shut up. I got this. <laughs> you know, I don't mean to sound like yeah, that, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You yeah. know, he's like, he calmed him down. Like, you know. Yeah, Job was, Job was perfect. Yeah. He was definitely perfect. And um, his was faith was too. commendable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I want to be sitting next to Job too. So. I'm not gonna hold you up too long, but I, I definitely no, I definitely want to network with you, and I'm gonna yeah. give you one of my cards too. Okay, yeah, and do I that for sure. The change and yeah. write your number down. I'm gonna okay, go get my card. for sure. And I, I uh, you know, I gotta you. I gotta come to uh, Popeyes. I'm for real. I come yeah. down there. Yeah, they're supposed to open up in two weeks, but it's I didn't even where where are they opening it at? Just right down the street. Okay. 